Hello everybody, welcome to Easy Auto Crafting with RF Tools Control, Toddy the Body here. Now let me show you how to do this. I think some people might be a little deterred by this because of how of the complexity. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to just set this up in the world. Just place and plug and play, I guess. The three Ps, right? Uh, I do have a program here, but we're not going to get into that. In fact, this is a non-programming RF Tools Control Easy Auto Crafting Setup. What you're going to do is you're going to do everything the exact same way I have here in any world, in any direction, it doesn't matter. So what you're going to need, you're going to need a power source, of course. You're going to need a processor. You're going to need three nodes. You're going to need one workbench, one crafting station. In fact, these are all the extra pieces, just so we can keep it separate so it's not too weird for you. Let's put that there. Uh, one crafting station. And uh, let's see, the workbench crafting station, you're going to need an inventory that will hold your crafting cards, the biggest one possible in the single block that you can think of. Um, I use actually additions in the Advent 3 Let's Play, but since we're just going to stick with this mod, RF Tools and RF Tools Control, I'm going with the largest inventory in this mod, which is the 300 slot or 300 stack uh, modular storage. And then the last one for the last node, you're going to need some way to dump your items back into your storage system, whether or not you're using modular storage or you're using Ender IO or you're using storage drawers or something like that. Uh, you're going to want to dump it back into modular storage and then on the other end of it, because we're using this uh, remote storage module where it's pulling out and putting back into your system somehow. Uh, that's up to you. If you want to use just these two mods, you can do it this way also. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like that this is our inventory right here. And that's connected to this one here. And it's connected through the remote storage in this slot right here. All right. So here's what you're going to do next. Uh, you're going to place your nodes. And I might as well just do this again just to show you how easy it is. And I'll even pick a different direction. Remember, three nodes. And then we are going to pick a workbench, put it on one. And you can, like if you're wondering, like if you don't want these sticking out of the ground, you could also do something like this, where you put it in the ground and then you have your workbench on top. Then you won't even see it. Just make sure that you can access it so that you can program it later. So let's break these, put that back there. All right. So then we talked about our uh, crafting card inventory. So let's go and put that there. We want to get uh, this thing from RF Tools so that we can have inventory over here. There we go. All right. And then we're going to put our crafting cards inside there. And then this is going to be our main inventory type thing. And we will go ahead and do a similar setup that we have over on this side. So let's go ahead and just throw that there. And this needs to be powered. Um, the processor needs to be powered and the storage scanner needs to be powered. And we're going to use the storage scanner in our setup here. All right. Processor, storage scanner, right there. Okay. So now that we are doing a separate setup, we also want to make sure that we have similar things here. So inside of our remote storage, let's put that up in that. Well, that's not where that goes. It goes right there in that corner. Let's go ahead and set these two to the same inventory. All right. And now this is going to be the dump and this is going to be our main inventory. Great. All right. Now we're ready to do the rest of it. Okay. So you want to set your channels and you have to do it the same way that I'm doing it because this is the easy setup. I have it all programmed and everything for you to use the exact same stuff that I have going on here. So because this is where the items are actually going to craft, you see we have our workbench up there. Go ahead and name the node craft and we're going to name our channel craft also. All right. So then we go to the next node channel name is the same craft. And because this is where we're going to be holding our uh, crafting cards, name this card, not crad card with no S. All right, and then this is where we're going to be dumping, dumping the uh, extra stuff back into our system. And so we're going to call that dump. 
All right. Great. So now we're ready for the next part. Uh, you need to go ahead and make a program card here, program card. And you also want to make sure that you have certain pieces. You can use a network card or advanced network card if, you're, if your uh, nodes in crafting station are as close as they are here. But if they're not, go ahead and use the advanced one. All right, you're also going to need some cores. Uh, you probably don't need this many, but I like to just put that many in, in there. What the heck, you know? All right, so put that there, there, put the cores all inside, and there's another item that we're going to need so that our processor can read what we have in our inventory. And that is going to be this modular storage control module. And go ahead and, and your storage scanner, shift right click on that, and then go back into your processor and put that inside. And then that's where we'll read our inventory. Um, let's get some blocks. In fact, let's go ahead and use these since we already have some over here. Except for we're just going to use the basic ones, not that or that. And we're going to grab the wood. So all we have is just cobble and wood. All right, and then we're going to put that inside there. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to do a scan with our scanner and find our inventory, our main inventory. So you're gonna find it on this list. I happen to know that the one I'm using here is in a modular storage. We don't want that one because that's our crafting card. We're looking for the one with the cobble and the uh, and the wood. And there we go, that's the one right there. And sure, we'll use that one too. All right, so now we've got that. Let's, you know what? I, I like the idea of just using the one. So let's do this. There we go. Because it thinks that we have two, twice as many, right? We don't. Because because those two are the same inventories. All right. So now we're ready for our programming card. So this is the fun and easy part. Uh, we have our program right here. If you look down in the description, you can copy and paste this program inside on like a notepad or the word pad or whatever. So go down there and copy that. You highlight the whole thing and hit control C. So then we're gonna go in a completely separate programmer or at least the one that you have on your game and see it's empty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a spot and after I've selected the program that is down in the description, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna hit control V. Control V is the paste. Now these are common controls for like doing just, you know, using WordPad and all that stuff. So you should know that. So we're gonna paste and there you go. You got your program. And inside the program, all of the param parameters and everything is all set to exactly what you need for this uh, setup to work. So we're gonna save this to our program card, craft. And there we go. And then break that. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put it right inside. Now, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit this button up here. See that? And then start allocating these slots. And you're want to go, want, you are going to want to go all the way up to nine. All right. And then once you have that, you're all done with, well, you're not all done. You need to set your network. So do net setup. And because we named all of our nodes as craft, or we named our channels craft, you want to put craft out there that. So net setup craft. All right, and there you go. It found our nodes and it found our crafting station and we are set. And I don't want it to actually find these over here. I'm not sure if it is. So uh, I'm gonna break this just so it's not finding those. And uh, here's my other crafting station. Yeah, so let's go ahead and write that in there because if you're doing this in your world, you're not gonna have that. I don't want to mess up on camera. There we go, that's even better. All right, so now we need to make our crafting cards. So let's go back inside. Once you craft all these things here, let's go ahead and go like this and then just set a few recipes. And uh, where's our crafting station again? Oh, we don't have one. Do we? No, here it is. Break that. Come over here so that we can have everything all grouped together. And then because I broke the other one, I'm just going to do this one more time. There we go. And if we look inside here, we should not see any recipes. And that's because we haven't put any in there yet. All right. So we're going to right click. Let's get a wood axe. That's a good recipe. All right. And then we want to make uh, some sticks. So 
Are we able to uh, drag these over? Oh, no, we can't. All right, well, we need to make some planks anyways. All right, let's make uh, a furnace. Why not? There we go. Let's also make... Uh, we didn't do the sticks yet. So let's see if I can find sticks here somewhere. Uh, I know you make sticks with this, right? And can I get sticks? There we go. And can I get just regular, the regular ones? There we go. That's what I need. All right. So remember, go back over to the one that has card. Go above it. Start putting in your recipes that are actually set. So we've got that, 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 that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and make a chest and a crafting table recipe. So there's that one right there. Let's do the crafting table. It's, there we go. There's that one. We'll put those two in there. There we go. So now we have six different recipes. If we go inside of our crafting station, now we see our recipes and we can go ahead and we click on each one. See, it makes that. It makes the crafting station. Crafting table, sorry. It'll make the chest. It'll make sticks. It'll make an ax and so on and so forth, whatever you need. Uh, if you want to add any recipes to it, all you got to do is get your little crafting card, put a recipe in here, and add it inside here. And then that'll hold 300 different recipes. Uh, at the moment, uh, it doesn't seem to be expandable, but MC Jetty is really great about uh, improving his mods, and I'm pretty sure that there will probably be something in the future. If it's possible, he'll do it. Anyways, so that's your auto crafting anywhere anytime and please check out the description below where the auto crafting program will be just copy and paste literally easy and i hope you enjoyed and i hope this works out for you so you all have a great day and i'll see you next time bye